This is a story about a girl named Molly Goes around up the trolley Drinks cider and a dolly She can't get over you There's nothing that she will do Now she's off sniffing glue Hey everybody, Cyanide here from Milky Gloss, coming at you for another vlog. Um, friendly Neighborhood Canadian, did I say that? That's my new tagline on my podcast and website, Friendly Neighborhood Canadian. <laughs> um, this is going to be a different kind of vlog, not really geeky, but I kind of want to explain how my brain works. Um, it's strange. <laughs> I have ADD, um, Attention Defi Deficit Disorder, never really fully diagnosed, but basically if I was in school now, I'd be on Ritalin, Ritalin for sure. Um, when I was in elementary school, I think it was grade four or five maybe, um, I ended up sitting beside every single person in the class and then out in the library because I wouldn't stop talking to them. And that really wasn't a punishment because being put out in the library just gave me more people to talk to, people that walked past I could talk to, basically. Um, but in regards to how my brain actually works, um, I have a hard time focusing for a really long time on something, but in the opposite of that, I guess, I kind of get super obsessed with stuff. Like I'll get an idea in my head and I kind of have to do it right now and I'll be super obsessed about it. And then after a little time passes and if it doesn't happen or I don't do it or anything like that, then I kind of tend to forget about it and move on. Um, the worst thing I ever went through was when I was getting a tattoo and I had a great idea for a new tattoo I wanted and I had to wait three months for the appointment because they were so booked. And in that time, I think I went back to the shop and changed probably about six or seven times. Um, it started out as being flowers with a banner underneath it and then it was going to be a patchwork heart and then it was going to be a giant mermaid at my side and it ended up being um just a banner on my back with a childhood nickname so <laughs> went through all these different versions before i settled on what i wanted and i think a lot of that was because i had so long to think about it um i tend to overthink things a lot too um i guess that goes with the obsession i don't know if it's like borderline ocd or what because i do get super obsessed about things to the point where it's Annoying. Um, I don't even know a good example, but I just get super, super obsessed and it's like, I have to do it right now kind of thing. Um, the other thing was that I have this weird train of thought and I don't know if this is how other people think and if this is normal or if this is just how I think. So I think of one thing and then that leads me to another and another and another in the chain. And when it gets to the end, I try and work my way back through the chain to think of the original thing that I was thinking of. And I do that a lot before I go to bed. Um, when I'm trying to fall asleep. I don't know of a really good example. Um, maybe, okay, so I had a sore neck and then that makes me think maybe it's meningitis. And then I think of the house episode where the girl had meningitis when she was super like a swimmer and how they're checking the symptoms on that. Um, and then that makes me think of the episode where Dr. Foreman um, was on it and there was the chick that he accidentally killed because he gave her steroids and it killed her immune system or whatever. And then I think of how his name was Eric Foreman, the same as the guy from that 70s show and his name was Eric Foreman and how the last season was kind of shitty with Donna being blonde. Um, and then how Laura Prepon, I think that was her last name, um, was, in, <laughs> was on the 70s show playing Donna and she was in the movie about um, Paul Bernardo and Carla Homolka, Homolka, these serial killers in Canada. So then I sit there and try and think back all the way through to think of the first thing I thought of, which was that I had a sore neck. Um, I don't know if that's how normal people think and process things. That's how I think. <laughs> and I kind of wanted to explain that. Um, with When I say I have ADD and it being und undiagnosed, I mean, my parents were good. They understood that I probably just had a lot of energy as a kid. Um, I was only a child liked a lot of attention, um, had a lot of ideas, just a creative type, I guess. Um, and with that, I mean, they never really seemed to be worried about it. And now it's kind of like, I have all these millions of ideas and projects on the go. I mean, I was making, and you can see on my website, um, under crafty things, all the stuffed bunnies I used to make and just random things. I mean, I'll see something and be like, I can make that. Why don't I make it? t-shirts most recently I wanted to get um, a hoodie with the Union Jack on it and then I figured I might as well get a hoodie from Ireland to appease my Ireland friends and then I'm like I might as well get one for Scotland for the people I know from Scotland 
So then I decided to make my own versions of a Scotland t-shirt and an Ireland t-shirt. Um, and it's just things like that where it's like I get obsessed about an idea, got to start the project, um, wrote a self-published geek book, have a tabletop game, a million things on the go. And it's really hard to be focused on any one thing for a long period of time. Um, my best friend Kat can attest, attest to all of that where it's so many ideas and I get super excited about them. But then it's to the point where like I kind of have to reel it back in. It's almost like spring cleaning for my brain, I guess, where, you know, I have let it build up so long and I have so many things on the go. And then I kind of have to be like, OK, what ones can I kind of box up and put aside for later? What ones do I need to kind of throw out altogether before it gets too much and I get two way down with a million things and don't want to do anything, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of how my brain works. Um, basically ADD. Why do I have a pirate hat on? Cause why not? Cause pirates, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, you can let me know in the comments down below if you think that I'm normal or if that's how you think too. I don't know if that's a normal person's thought process or not because I've never really asked a person, Hey, how do you think of things? How does your brain work? Um, but that's how my brain works. <laughs>